Retail sales rebounded sharply in November, spurred by a burst of spending around Black Friday sales. Turnover rose by 2% to $36.5 billion. That's compared to a decline of 0.4% in October. Shoppers are believed to be seeking discounts in response to cost of living pressures. Joining me live now is Judo Bank Economic Advisor Warren Hogan. Warren, good to see you. So retail numbers are up. Inflation data is out today. Does the stronger retail data point to an increased demand in the economy? Yeah, good morning, Kenny. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, look, it could do. It could do. Um, the ABS, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, which releases the data, is having some issues with seasonal adjustment, and that's trying to effectively take into account this new phenomena or relatively new phenomena of the Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So most economists, including myself, want to see the December figures because, as we've seen in recent years, a strong November is often followed by a very weak December. So the jury's out, but there's no doubt that the data at face value showed a big lift in goods, consumer goods, household goods spending, um, which is indicative of um, a still reasonably healthy level of spend in the economy. OK. Well, today is the deadline for the US Securities and Exchange Commission in the US to approve or not approve several Bitcoin ETF filings. And there's speculation that if they are approved, the price of Bitcoin could go absolutely nuts. First of all, why is an exchange-traded fund or ETF important to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? Yeah, it's, it's a watershed moment, potentially. Um, so the US is obviously leading the way here and will be um, uh, soon followed by other jurisdictions if indeed they do approve uh, exchange-traded funds for retail investors to invest directly in Bitcoin. This is obviously something that hasn't happened before. It's been in front of the SEC for months, in, indeed years. Um, and of course, what it'll mean, it'll open up in a relatively safe manner um, and that, of course, will be a big part of the ruling, um, the investment in, in cryptocurrencies to a whole range of new investors, retail investors, mum and dad investors. And, of course, it will soon be followed by other jurisdictions having to follow suit. So this is what the whole market's looking at. It's uh, already seen Bitcoin rally over 10% this year or in the, in the past week. Uh, in anticipation of it. Whether or not it leads to another further big rise is, is another question. These funds will take a while to roll out and the, the money will come in gradually. But it's all eyes on the SEC tonight, our time. Yeah, I mean, the SEC has been pretty hostile towards cryptocurrency so far with Commissioner Gary Gensler at the helm. The SEC filing multiple massive lawsuits against cryptocurrencies like uh, companies like uh, Ripple. Would this be a change of tune, I wonder, and really change the direction of the asset class? Look, it could do. Um, I think the issue here from a regulatory point of view is it's better to have something within the regulatory net, if you will, and have oversight for the broader community if they're investing in it, um, rather than just sort of dismissing it and letting it be the Wild West. Uh, so I, I think it is important that regulators do take this seriously. The, the, these, these cryptocurrencies aren't going anywhere. They're a new form of exchange and investment. And so I think that despite the great hesitancy um, of regulators, um, that really just reflects that it's all very new. Um, and so they really have an obligation to, to regulate and to provide um, guidance to the broader community about investing in these, in these types of assets. All right, uh, we've got 10 seconds, but I've got my, my credit card out. I've got my bu button on the buy button. Your prediction for Bitcoin price this year, what do you reckon? <laughs> uh, look, I think it'll run out of steam above 50,000, and uh, I think it is overvalued. So I'll take uh, 35,000 at the end of the year. There you go. Thanks, Warren. Hope to chat to you Thanks, soon. Kenny.